choices. One, you distract them and I leave. What? Or two, you kill all of these motherfuckers and I leave. Hello, my name is Timmy Ngo, reporting for Cal TV Entertainment, and I'm here today with the star of Free Fire, Charlotte Copley. Free Fire is such a fun ensemble movie with a lot of cool actors, yourself included. What was that like on set? So it was the only movie I've ever done where all the actors would arrive at the same time and pretty much leave at the same time. And that meant you got to hang out a lot together when you weren't shooting. So we had like a dartboard set up and a ping pong table set up. And um, that's, that's very unusual. We got to really bond in a way that you don't normally. Who's the best at ping pong? I never got to finish the match against Killian Murphy. It was basically Killian and I, and I was ahead. I'm just saying. <laughs> but it doesn't count because we didn't end yeah. the full match. So for a movie called Free Fire, there's a lot of guns. There are. Who would you say is the best shot? We didn't go target shooting, but I'm totally putting my money on Army Hammer. He's definitely, uh, you know, the Texan. Yeah, he um, seems like a... <laughs> yeah, and he just, he just, he's really good with a gun. So I would, I would, I would put money on him. But although, I, having said that, okay. <laughs> women are ridiculously accurate on average. Like speaking to guys who teach shooting, uh -huh. they say typically, which is bizarre, but true, you know, and very difficult for Vernon, my character, to accept. <laughs> But women typically shoot, like, if you got, like, 10 women and 10 men who'd never shot guns before, mm -hmm. the women on average shoot better in terms of accuracy than the men. So, there you go. So, am I putting my money on Brie Larson? So, well, you don't know because, you know, you'd have to see, but you could. Yeah, it, yeah. it wouldn't be badly spent money. The movie is actually really funny. There are a lot of good one-liners. How much mm. of that was improvised and how much was scripted? I was lucky in that sense that I got to do a lot more improv than I normally would. You know, maybe at least 40, 50 percent. So, that was great. Yeah. yeah. The movie takes place in a 70s Boston. There are a lot of cool costumes. You got the sideburns, the yeah. mustache, yeah. the wacky suit. How did yeah. that help you get into character? Oh, hugely. Uh, it's the longest time I've ever spent on like trying to pick out a piece of fabric uh -huh. for the suit. <laughs> uh, I became attached to, to, <laughs> Vernon's, yeah. to Vernon's fabric and his suit and you know all the little details, the snakeskin shoes yeah. and like pink socks. It's crazy fun. You and Neil Blomkamp are very mm. good friends. You guys work mm. on a lot of movies together. Yeah. Is there any secrets you can tell me about any upcoming projects you guys might have together? No. <laughs> <laughs> he has been cooking up some stuff, and uh, we did one or two interesting, fun things that, okay. that uh, would come out soon. So, okay. yeah, Looking be, forward to it. Yeah. Thank you so much for being here with me Thank today. You. It won't be free, but it will be fire. So go see Free Fire in theaters April 21st. I like that. You could actually be one of my team, mate. Watch it, Vern. It won't be free, but, it, you know, there's lots of fire. Like now it's called Kissing Strangers. Lil Yachty and Migos dropped a collab called Peekaboo, and Noah 